Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this video, we'll discuss solutions to the 2016 JEE Mains Physics Question Paper. Let's move on to the next question. We are given a roller that is made by joining two cones and that is moving on two rails which are not parallel to each other and whether it's turning to the left or the right. So let's look at a somewhat simpler case first, then this case will uh, be easy to understand. So these are the two cones which are joined. And the question we are given that the two rails are not parallel, but they are equidistant. Let's assume for a second that they are not equidistant. So let's assume that the two rails, infinite rails are like this. One of them is closer to the center than the other. Right. Now the whole cone, the whole system of two cones is a rigid body. Let's say it rolls in this direction by an angle theta. That means in this direction also it will be rolling by an angle theta. Now this let's say is the distance. Let's call it D1 and let's call this D2. This is the distance. It's meant to actually go inside the plane because it's a circle. This is the distance between the center and the ground, right? So this should be the distance between the center and the ground. And when it's rolling, the actual distance covered in the horizontal direction forward will be theta times d1, right? This is sort of like uh, this rolls by an angle theta and this distance is d. So it moves ahead by an angle d theta, right? d into theta, not a differential change in theta. So this moves ahead a distance d1 theta and this moves ahead a distance d2 theta because this is closer to the ground. One wheel might be like this where this is d1 and the other one might be like this, which is where this is d2. When they both roll by the same amount, this covers a larger distance. So if this side moves a greater distance than this side, then a little while later, the figure will be like this. This will have moved some distance, but this will have moved a greater distance. And so it will look to us as though it is turning left. Just like if you're driving in a car and the car turns in this direction, these two wheels actually cover a more area, more circumference than these two wheels, right? So it'll turn towards the left. Now in this case, they're not at different distances. They're at the same distance, but one of them is tilted. So one is like this, the other is at the same distance, but like this. So initially they both are at the same distance from the ground, but as this moves forward, the distance here starts decreasing. So this is like a, an exceptional case of this one where the distance is not always constant. It is decreasing continuously. But after a little while, this distance will be smaller than this. So once again, it will appear to turn towards the left, right? One of them is moving such that D1 is constant and the other one is moving such that D2 is decreasing. So this will cover smaller distances and it will appear to move towards the left. This is a question which you really need to think about it and try to visualize. The answer will be option one. The roller will appear to turn towards the left. This completes the solutions. Thank you.